The mental state of people is something that often gets brought up in very big situations, you know, such as a court case in which a certain person accuses their ex of being in a beer and that ex denies it and thus takes them to court in a defamation case that is broadcast for all to see. A very specific circumstance. Yep, but it's what happened to Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, and even though the court case is now over, the talk about it most certainly isn't. To the extent that there's talk about what Amber Heard is going to do next, and apparently that's be positive. We'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number five, positive outlook. It's been about more than a week since the verdict. As you sit here with me now, has it sunk in? How could it? It's surreal and difficult in part, yes. Um, this has been a long time coming. Amber Heard is embracing the next chapter of her life following the recently wrapped defamation court battle with her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. A source tells People in this week's issue that the Aquaman actress, age 36, is doing okay following the verdict and that while she feels drained and exhausted after the trial, she is trying her best to have a positive outlook. She's happy to spend every day with her baby girl, daughter Unog Page, of 14 months, the insider says. Her sister Whitney Henriquez is also her biggest supporter. They spend a lot of time together. Do you stand by your testimony and your accusations against Johnny Depp about abuse? Of course, to my dying day, will stand by every word of my testimony. I think vast majority of this trial was played out on social media. I think that this trial is an example of that gone haywire, gone amok. And the jury is not immune to that. You think it, the jury saw it? How could they not? I think even the most well-intentioned juror, it would have been impossible to avoid this. Earlier this month, Depp, age 59, won all three defamation claims in his case against Heard over her 2018 op-ed about coming forward as a survivor of domestic AB. The jury awarded Depp $15 million in damages, but Heard will only have to pay $10.35 million due to a Virginia law capping punitive damages. The judge reduced the amount, and it's actually a little less than that because in the countersuit, she won $2 million, so that would just be deducted from things and thus she owes $8.35 million. Amber is still disappointed about the jury's verdict, says the source. She is still weighing her legal options, but right now, she needs some breathing room to just enjoy the summer. Let's go back to the, the day of the verdict. Were you feeling confident? <sighs> That's a great question. I wish I could say yes to that. I want to say yes to you, but it, would, it wouldn't be true. Even if you think that I'm lying, you still couldn't tell me, look me in the eye and tell me that you think on social media there's been a fair representation. There was another trial handled in, with the same, dealt with the same substantive issues that had even more evidence in. In fact, mine, my evidence was largely kept out, really important pieces of evidence kept out done differently, handled differently by a, a judge instead of a jury. An interesting thing to say because both her and her lawyer team have made it very clear that she isn't just disappointed about things, she's downright livid. What's more, she's made it clear along with her lawyers that the appeal is what they're shooting for. So one has to wonder how she's trying to keep a positive outlook given all the things she's said and done recently. For example, number four, TJ Maxx. Every single day I passed for three, four, sometimes six blocks, city blocks lined with people holding signs saying, burn the witch, death to Amber. After three and a half weeks, I took the stand and saw just a courtroom packed full of Captain Jack Sparrow fans who were vocal, energized. Can you put into words how that felt? This was the most humiliating and horrible thing I've ever been through. I have never felt more removed from my own humanity. I, I, 
I felt less than human. In a video obtained by TMZ, you can see Amber Heard shopping at a TJ Maxx in Bridgehampton, New York Thursday afternoon, where she was accompanied by her sister Whitney Henriquez, who testified on her behalf and who has been tagging along lately. Amber and Whitney were pursuing racks for clothes, and at one point they were heard discussing white linen pants. It seems the sisters had their basket full of would-be purchases, as shown in the video, though when she noticed the cameras rolling, she scrammed. No word on what, if anything, they ended up leaving the store with. But it's interesting that we find Amber here in the wake of all of this. Some evidence is admissible in a UK court that is not admissible in a US court. Do you think that maybe he just had better lawyers? I will say his, his lawyers did a, certainly a better job of distracting the jury from the real issues. For some people, they just were frankly disgusted by the whole thing and don't have much sympathy for either one of you. Can you understand that? Absolutely. I would not blame the average person for looking at this and how it's been covered and not think that it is Hollywood brats at their, at their worst. I'd, but what people don't understand is it's, it's actually so much bigger than that. This is a, uh, this is not only about our First Amendment right to speak. But here's the thing about the First Amendment. The First Amendment protects free speech. It doesn't protect lies that amount to defamation. And that was the issue in the case. Yes, exactly. You can't go into, the free speech does not protect you if you, you know, go into a crowded theater and you scream fire. We get the concept of free speech from the Greeks. My understanding of what that means is not just the freedom to speak. It's a freedom to speak truth to power. Especially considering the financial situation she now finds herself in. As we all know by now, Amber's lawyers have gone on record to say she can't afford to pay the $8.3 in damages awarded to Johnny by the jury. And it remains to be seen if Depp and co are in fact going to enforce it. His attorneys have signaled they might not, though it was slightly implied that the non-enforcing might be tied to her dropping an attempted appeal, which her lawyers claim she has more than enough evidence to get to happen. So as in all things, time will tell. Specifically, the judge in the case set a date of the 24th to be the one in which motions for an appeal will be heard. If it goes through, then it'll be big news. But truth is the word. Yes. And that was the issue. And that's all I spoke. And I spoke it to power and I paid the price. In the closing arguments, the Depp lawyer said, called your testimony the performance of a lifetime and said you were acting. What do you say to that? Says the lawyer for the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers. I'm the performer. I had listened to weeks of testimony uh, insinuating that or saying quite directly that, you know, I'm a terrible actress. So I, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit confused how I could be both. But ironically, that wasn't the biggest thing to come from her in recent days. Number three, the kissing scandal. Photos purported to show Amber Heard and Cara Delevingne kissing in an elevator have gone viral across social media. The nature of the pair's relationship became a talking point in recent weeks as Heard battled it out in court with her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, during their defamation trial with fans digging through all aspects of their personal lives. On Tuesday, Andy Signor touted what he described as exclusive photos of Heard and Delevingne embracing and kissing on his YouTube show, Popcorn the Planet. The unverified images show two women standing in an elevator, which Signor said was in downtown Los Angeles' Eastern Columbia building, where Heard and Depp had shared a penthouse during their ill-fated relationship. In the grainy images, which appear to have been taken by a security camera, a woman resembling Heard places her arm around the shoulder of the person resembling Delevingne before leaning in for a kiss. No date has been provided for when the photos were taken, though they have quickly been shared across social media in the hours since they were unveiled. I never had to instigate it. I responded to it. When you're living in violence and it becomes, it becomes normal, as I testified to, you have to adapt. You say you were responding, but there are, is evidence. There are tapes in which you acknowledge hitting. There are tapes in which you say, I started the fight. I know much has been made of, of these audio tapes. They were first leaked online after being uh, edited. What you would hear in those clips are not evidence of what was happening. It was evidence of a negotiation of how to talk about that. 
In May, it was claimed by a friend of her that the Aquaman star had a three-way affair with Delavine and Elon Musk while she was still married to Depp. The explosive resurfaced testimony given by Joshua Drew in November 2019 was not used during the recent trial involving Heard and Depp, but has been shared across social media. The deposition shown in the courtroom appeared to be edited as the timestamps at the bottom of the screen jumped around. One moment that wasn't included in court but has previously been made public was Drew explaining that he was told by Pennington about a three-way affair involving Heard. Did Rocky tell you that Amber Heard was having an affair with Elon Musk and Cara Delevingne while she was still married to Johnny Depp? A man off camera asks Drew in the video deposition. Yes. Drew replied to the question, though he admitted he couldn't speak to the specific date of the event. But I am looking at a transcript that says, he says, you start physical fights and you say, I did start a physical fight. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. I mean, this is in black and white. I understand context, but you're testifying and you're just telling me today, I never started a physical fight. And here you are on tape saying you did. As I testified on the stand about this, is that when your life is at risk, not only will you take the blame for things that you shouldn't take the blame for, but when you're in an abusive dynamic psychologically, emotionally, and physically, you don't have the resources that, say, you or I do with the luxury of saying, hey, this is black and white, because it's anything but when you're living in it. Did she ever tell you in words or substance while Amber was still married to Johnny Depp that the three of them, Amber Heard, Elon Musk, and Cara Delevingne, spent the night together? The man off camera asked. Once again, Drew said yes. So they were having what, a three-way affair? The man asked Drew. Correct, he replied. To be clear, we can't fully confirm the photos that were shown, but it does certainly imply some things if they're true, and people are going to eat that up. Number two, the statement post-trial. Going back to the statements of Heard, one of the things that have rung the loudest were the party line that she and her lawyers are trying to make known, mainly that a loss for Amber Heard is a loss for women's rights and victims' rights. This was started by Heard post-trial when she said, the disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. I'm even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. It is a setback. It sets back the clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. It sets back the idea that violence against women is to be taken seriously. I believe Johnny's attorney succeeded in getting the jury to overlook the key issue of freedom of speech and ignore evidence that was so conclusive that we won in the UK. I'm sad I lost this case, but I'm sadder still that I seem to have lost a right I thought I had as an American. But then there are other times, there's another tape where you're taunting him and saying, oh, tell the world, Johnny Depp, I, a man, am a victim of domestic violence. 20 second clips or the transcripts of them are not representative of even the two hours or the three hours that those clips are excerpt from. Could your side have just put the whole three hours in then? I'm not a lawyer. As I testified to, I was talking in those recordings as a person an extreme amount of emotional, psychological, and physical distress. He and says he never hit you. He can't. never. Is yeah. that a lie? Yes, it is. To speak freely and openly. This continued later on with her NBC News interview when she further said that the trial took away her free speech, among other things. Number one, is she trying to be positive? So listening and seeing all this going on, you really have to wonder if Amber Heard really is someone who's trying to be positive given all that's going on currently, because she and her team have been making waves every chance they can get, blasting Johnny Depp, his lawyers, the jury, social media, and so on. If anything, they're going out of their way to try and make sure that this isn't forgotten and that she's still on everyone's minds. Whether this goes anywhere or not really isn't her call though. And there you have it everyone, a look at the situation with Amber Heard and whether her positive outlook on things is really going to help her going forward. Do you think that she'll be able to piece things back together given her current situation? Or do you feel as though she's just grasping at straws to try and get more attention? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.